cells cannot resist the temptation to steal from that surplus. Their genetic morality degrades as tumor suppressor genes fail. The only way to stop them is by punishment. You now confront the basic problem of morality. It is the alignment of individual incentives with the global needs of the structure. Welcome back Guardians. Today we are continuing with the Unveiling Law Book. These entries are released weekly and are essentially messages from the darkness. I would recommend watching the first video in the series being The Vex and Not Evil, which explains the game of life and the function of the light and the darkness. As usual, thanks to Gamma Chat for the artwork at the beginning of this video. This is Marlin Games, and I hope you enjoy this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. Okay, so in the first video, we covered the first three entries in the Unveiling Law Book. Now we're going to cover the next three entries. To completely oversimplify the first three entries, Essentially, it describes the light as the gardener and the darkness as the winnower. They are these cosmic forces that exist in balance before time itself. The light creates and the darkness destroys and this maintains balance. The light and the darkness follow a set of rules to maintain this balance and I speculated that the Vex are the enforcers of these rules. The Vex maintain the pattern of life and therefore balance. If you have not seen the video, I would recommend watching it it's pretty cool how the writers introduce this concept. The last entry we spoke about, the flower game, hinted at the light, i.e. the gardener, wanting to break the rules, wanting to do something different. The next entry, the final shape, continues with the light wanting to change the rules of the game. It reads, It always ends the same, the gardener complained. This one stupid pattern. There is dull as carbon monoxide poisoning, the gardener groused. Although carbon monoxide did not yet exist, and neither did anything that could be poisoned. The gardener kneeled to flick a patch of sod with their trowel. It struck an open flower, causing it to shut. Although I was the closer of flowers, and that was my sole purpose, I felt no fear or jealousy. We had our assigned dominions, and always would. The gardener got up and brushed their knees. Every game we play, this one pattern consumes all the others, wipes out every interesting development. A stupid, boring exploit that cuts off entire possibility spaces from ever arising. There's so much that we'll never get to see because of this pest. As you can see, the light is becoming bored with the game, with the pattern. The light wants a change. You will also notice how the darkness says, we have our assigned dominions and always would which sort of encourages you to think of the light and the darkness as gods, overseeing the universe. The light comes to the conclusion that they need to add a new rule to the game, a rule that would make it more interesting, something that would break the pattern. In the next entry, The First Knife, the darkness is shocked that the light wants to change the rules, and says this, I looked up in shock. I said, what? What do you mean? A special new rule. Something to, the gardener threw up their hands in exasperation. I don't know, to reward those who make space for new complexity. A power that helps those who make strength from heteroxity and who steer the game away from gridlock. Something to ensure there's always someone building something new. It'll have to be separate from the rest of the rules, running in parallel, so it can't be compromised. And we'll have to be very careful so it doesn't disrupt the whole game. Now, this is very interesting. The light says that it wants to add a new rule, but the light wants to test the rule in parallel, not within the main game. I instantly assumed that this means we are in fact in a parallel simulation. Is our universe the test subject for the new rules? The traveler and the light in our universe breaks a pattern. It allows guardians to live forever. The Traveller accelerated creation through technology. So once again, are we in a separate game, a separate simulation, a parallel test for the light's new rules? Now, when the light added a new rule, the light and the darkness also became part of the game. So before they acted more like gods, overseeing their dominion, but now they are active participants in the game. They influence the game. 
have a listen to the first knife law entry. It reads, No, the gardener said. I'm the growth and preservation of complexity. I'll make myself into a law in the game. And thus we too became part of the game, and the laws of the game became gnomic and open to change by our influence. And I had only one purpose and one principle in the game, and I could do nothing but continue to enact that purpose, because it was all that I was and ever would be. I looked at the gardener, I looked at my hands, I discovered the first knife. So the darkness and the light now influence the game, and the darkness continues with its true purpose. That is why the darkness describes discovering the first knife. This is symbolic of cutting, removing, shaping the universe through destroying, whittling the universe down to its final perfect shape. The darkness needed to use the knife to keep the creation of the light in balance. And so with this in mind, this is when the darkness makes us question if we are doing the wrong thing. The darkness is just obeying the pattern of the game, maintaining balance. The darkness uses a metaphor to illustrate its point in law entry P53. Have a listen. It reads, Thank you for making room in your life for another talking ball. Let me ask you a question. In the 3 billion base pairs of your root species genome, there's a single gene that codes for a protein called P53. The name is a mistake. The protein weighs only as much as 47,000 protons, not 53,000. If you were a cell, you would think P53 was a mistake too. It has several coercive functions. To delay the cell's growth, to sterilize the cell when it is old, to force the cell into self-destruction if it becomes too independent. However, Without P53 as an enforcer, the body's utopian surplus of energy becomes a paradise for cancer. Cells cannot resist the temptation to steal from that surplus. Their genetic morality degrades as tumor suppressor genes fail. The only way to stop them is by punishment. You now confront the basic problem of morality. It is the alignment of individual incentives with the global needs of the structure. Patterns will participate in a structure only if participation benefits their ability to go on existing. The more successful the structure grows, the more temptation accrues to cheat, and the greater the advantage the cheaters gain over their honest neighbours, and the greater the ability they develop to capture the very laws that should prevent their selfishness. To prevent this, the structure must punish cheaters with a violence that grows in proportion to its own success. My question follows, is P53 an agent of the darkness or the light? The idea here is, if you don't have structure, if you don't obey the rules, cells will cheat, grow and become cancerous. The body needs P53 to keep everything in check. Obviously, P53 is a metaphor for the darkness. The darkness is meant to keep everything in balance. And so if you agree that P53 is right, in its enforcement, then technically you should also agree with the darkness. And if that's the case, then we really have the labels around the wrong way. The light and the traveler are the ones breaking the rules, breaking the balance. They are really the agents of darkness. And what we call the darkness is really the light. Now, this of course is the entire purpose of this law book, to make guardians question who is in the wrong and who is in the right. Or, what is probably more accurate, is that there is no wrong or right, just balance. And with that, that concludes this latest Destiny 2 Law episode. If you'd like to support the channel and cannot think of a comment, you can leave the word P53 to represent the function of the darkness. Maintain balance. As usual, it has been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.